Welcome to the SHSM eCommunity. The intent of this video is to introduce the main areas of the SHSM eCommunity and how to post resources and participate in discussions. To ensure a positive experience while in the SHSM eCommunity, it is highly recommended that the Google Chrome web browser be used. Let's start the tour. There are three main areas to the SHSM eCommunity. Number one, sector specific and general topics. Two, SHSM news. And three, calendar of events. You will also notice a menu bar along the top of the page. User information such as message, update, and subscription alerts are available. Profile settings are also available and all users are invited to set up a profile so that networking opportunities can be forged. Some quick links are also provided, such as Course Home button, List of Participants, Discussion Areas, and a Logout button. Moving down the page, we find the area that most participants will find helpful, and that is the Sector Specific and General Topics area. Sector Specific links will take you to a Sector Home page, Let's select Arts and Culture for an example. You will find the complete SHSM policy and implementation document along with SHSM sector policy guides. An ongoing collection of sector specific resources posted by EDU and school board participants is also found. Not to be forgotten is a discussion area for individuals to post questions and inquiries to a variety of topics related to that sector. Participants are also encouraged to reply with solutions or suggestions based on their local experience. Moving back to the SHSM eCommunity homepage, the general topics area is a selection of links that assists with broader areas. As you know, this video is housed in the How to Use This Site area. SHSM 101 and FAQs will be of interest to plenty of individuals who are involved in the delivery of SHSM programs. The CLAs area will be of interest to those who are involved with the planning and delivery of SHSM contextualized learning activities. Guidance, student services, and co-op staff will be interested in knowing that resources and discussions to assist with their participation are also available. The two other areas of the SHSM eCommunity site are found toward the bottom of the page. The SHSM news area contains information of importance for SHSM teachers, school teams, and board leads. Participants are encouraged to subscribe to this RSS or Rich Site Summary to be alerted of any new postings. The calendar area provides an ongoing list of conferences, report due dates, regional events, sector meetings, etc. that apply to all members of a school SHSM team. Since this is a community, and by its very nature, one of shared common values or policy, Participation and the sharing of ideas, resources, and discussion will assist in the growth, understanding, and success of the provincial SHSM program. With that in mind, I am going to quickly demonstrate how to post a reply to a discussion or post a resource. Select a sector, then select the discussion link, or if you choose, go directly to discussions and scroll to the correct sector. Whether you are posting a resource, starting a new discussion thread, or replying to a discussion thread, the process is the same. Select a thread, select reply to the thread, or a reply to a reply, and type your response. If applicable, there is an option to add an attachment. Then simply select post, and you are all done, and your response is immediately visible. This was a very quick overview of the SHSM eCommunity site. Feel free to explore and return often to contribute and update yourself on various activities throughout the province. When needed, the logout button is available 
to successfully and securely log you out of the SHSM eCommunity. On behalf of the SHSM eCommunity team, thanks for watching.